regarding the alignment method that each surgeon would prefer to use, we almost agree that one of the key issues is the proper positioning of the toric LOL. One of the first steps is to have a capsular exercise taking into consideration the particular toric IOL we are using. In this case, we are using our favorite toric IOL, the precision toric, and with a 5 mm 4.8 diameter of capsular rexis will be enough to have a stable in the back IOL afterwards. In this particular case, we are also using our standard technique for phacomulsification called phacom rolling technique that can be used in most cataract except in those with dense epinucleus. Automatic irrigation aspiration, again, is the standard. With a nice polishing of the anterior capsule, mostly to diminish the rate of capsulophimosis. The main advantage of this toric design, particular of the precision toric, compared with the design of other toric IOLs, the precision toric swallows a small degrees of misalignment much better, as you can see here, with a 15 degrees of misalignment, 24 against 45 quality of vision and power of the astigmatism reduction. Together with that, the precision toric is a very handy lens to be used. We like to fold in that way and we want to use this disposable injector who have the particularity of being able to be used both as an injector or as an injector with rotation, just changing a small piece of the backward part of the injector. I like to use this mode because I like to work with my two hands close to the eye and a third hand from my assistant introducing the lens. It is very important at the end of the introduction in the back to be able to take all the viscoelastic out in order to perfectly position the IOL and to close properly the incisions. 